Shall we get to the top of this mountain? I think so. The mountain behind me is actually the route to the UAE's highest public point, and today we're going to climb it. Welcome to Jebel Jace. Now this hike is 4.3 kilometers to the summit and it's classed as a moderate hike as well, but I must warn you, the first stretch for the first 25, 30 minutes or so is a steep climb up to the first rest point. The flag is the first rest point and also the first summit you get to at 1,415 meters. The good news is, when you do get up here, the views are amazing. So from the first UAE flag to the final climb to the summit, it's pretty straightforward actually. Mostly undulating paths that weave their way around the mountains. And you'll come across some information boards as well and some great spots to stop for a photo and also, if you're lucky, some goats. The paths on this hike are well laid out actually, they're pretty easy to follow. They're signposted too, you'll be following the Gaff Summit 7 signs and also you'll see these paint markings, sort of maroon, white and yellow dotted along the path as well. There it is. And we've made it. The south summit of Jebel Jace, the highest public point in the UAE, 1,640 meters. Good morning, today we are going on a big hike and I think my step counter is going to be going into overdrive. Look at this. I'm hiking the Wadi Shawka Trail in Ras Al Khaimah. The starting point is around 300 meters above sea level where you'll find the Wadi Shawka Dam and we'll reach a height of around 600 meters above sea level. First port of call, get these steps done. If you are visiting the UAE, it is very easy to stay within the big cities, Dubai and Abu Dhabi. But just an hour outside of those big urban hubs, you are greeted with incredible views. Al Hajar actually translates to the stone or the rocky. So I guess you could say these are the Middle East's rocky mountains. Ras Al Khaimah, of course, is one of the seven emirates in the UAE. And Ras Al Khaimah actually means top of the tent. And that's because the emirate is the furthest most north of all of the emirates in the UAE. It's at the top of the country. Good morning, it's 6 a.m. I'm Tom, the sports explorer, and we're setting off on the Al Rabi mountain trail hike in the Emirate of Sharjah. Now, the first thing you need to know is the long-term parking, which is where you need to park for this hike, is at the bottom of a steep tarmac road. You'll then need to climb up that steep tarmac road, and it is steep just to reach the starting point. 
Eventually you'll reach the official start point, the Al Rabi Tower. If you do want the shade on this first climb up, then you want to be up at the top of the first peak before half seven in the morning because the sun does come over the top of the mountain and it gets pretty warm pretty quickly. It's a nice graded path that zigzags up the mountain. So this hike consists of two main climbs really. You'll start off with around about a 30 minute ascent and then you'll dip back down and then a second climb up to the summit which is 395 meters above sea level. The first climb to the sort of first peak is a hard slog. Don't underestimate it. Oh dear, but when you do get to the top, it's a lovely place for a bite to eat and to get your breath back before you tackle the summit. The nice thing about the summit here is there's a massive UAE flag there, which is a nice thing to guide you up. But also it just gives the summit a bit of gravitas, doesn't it? The city you can see down there is Khor Fakan. The name translates to Creek of Two Jaws, reflecting the city's location in a crescent-shaped bay. Mm -hmm. 